Good day. As I am presenting myself right now, my name is Lise and I use female pronouns. I'm a trans-identified individual. I consider myself female, however at present I identify as bi-gender or gender fluid. That is, I will present and identify as male at times, typically at work or in situations where I'm not comfortable expressing my feminine side, and I will present and or identify as female the rest of the time. I acknowledge that roads are being made into the understanding and dealing with gender diverse members of society. Some police agencies have even gone as far as hiring transgender or gender diverse persons. Sadly, this has not always been the case. I would like to share my story with you. One which with understanding of gender diversity could have gone in a much different direction. This happened back in my early 20s. I was still trying to understand my gender identity at the time. I w was always almost comfortable expressing and presenting myself as female, although I was not out in public about it. What occurred was an interaction with members of the Leduc RCMP at the time. I normally worked a graveyard shift at a popular coffee shop. On my nights off, I stayed up most of the night. One night, while being my feminine self, I was cleaning my apartment. I decided to run some garbage out to the dumpster, and since it was around 2 in the morning, and was unlikely anyone would see me, I decided to run the garbage out in my female presentation. While crossing the parking lot back to my building, an RCMP officer did a drive through of the lot. Even though I was walking to the door of the building, keys in hand, the member called me to his cruiser. He had me sit in his vehicle as he ran my male name. While waiting for the results, he started to laugh and ridicule me for presenting as a woman. He used derogatory and offensive names while talking at me. After the dispatcher came back with nothing on me, the officer radioed for another member to come and see the trollop he found. Waiting for the second member to show, I asked if I could leave, to which he replied no. I asked if I was under arrest, he replied no. He kept me in his unit until the second member showed up. At this point, they both shared inappropriate jokes and comments about myself and my presentation. This did not end here. The officer filled out his paperwork at the coffee shop where I worked. The store owner was working that night and decided to have coffee with the member. The officer shared the stop with my boss, which led to harassment and my eventual dismissal from there. With law enforcement agencies working to understand gender diversity, incidences like mine will hopefully not happen to another trans person. The harassment and ridicule we face daily is hard enough, but knowing those we should be able to rely on for assistance may also be a source of ridicule can lead to trust issues and misunderstandings. Together, we can build an understanding of gender diversity, trust, and how to interact with each other with respect and dignity. Thank you.